All right, guys, let's go ahead and get the training started today. We have our uh, Monday level up training. Today is September 12th, and we have a special guest, Mrs. Lynn Dang from Chicago Title. Welcome, Lynn. Unmute yourself. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Are you going to do your thing and, and let me know when I can jump in? No, this whole session is just a training session. So this is all this is all going to be uh, for you. It's all me, huh? <laughs> yeah. How special is that? <laughs> Why don't so you introduce, introduce yourself? Uh, Absolutely. Talk about your role and stuff and how you work with our team as well. Absolutely. So good morning, everyone. My name is Lynn Ding. For those of you that don't know me, I am an account executive for Chicago Title. And um, my role, well, I work with most of you in the office and it's a pleasure to be on the Zoom today and see some new faces. So I'm looking forward to the opportunity to sit down one-on-one -on -one with each one of you. Um, my main goal is to provide tools and resources to help you grow your business, to take it to the next level. That's what I do. Um, there's plenty of resources out there. Um, there's, you know, I, I work with people that had just got their license yesterday, the people that are in the process of getting their licenses, and also the people who's been in the business for 40 plus years. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been in the industry for over 30 plus. <laughs> so, um, been around. I started out as an appraiser. Um, I'm still licensed as a certified appraiser, so you can pick my brain uh, when it comes to appraisal questions. Um, I did 10 years of lending for World Savings as a wholesale rep. My job then was to go out and train brokers and, and loan officers to um, how to package deals together that will get through underwriting. And for the last seven years, I've been with um, title and escrow industry. So um, with all that, uh, you know, I, I know that I can bring value to your business. Um, I do have a lot of patience, so don't worry. Uh, I'll sit down, whatever level you are, um, I can help you. Um, the only thing we ask is that you, of course, do the work because we all know that there's no magic wand that will get you the business overnight. So you have to put in the time and the work um, and the knowledge, learn it from the best, um, and, and be able to, you know, serve your clients. So with that being said, today, Enrique had asked me to um, talk about, yeah, talk about um, Chicago Agent One app. Um, that's our amazing app. We have three apps, but this is actually was designed for you guys, right? Uh, if you're working with buyers, you can actually uh, provide an estimated um, buyer's um, estimated buyer's fees. And also, if you're working with sellers, you can do a net sheet within 10 to 15 seconds. And it's all branding you. Um, so the app is free. Um, if you want to uh, have access to it, feel free to reach out to me, give me your full name, your email address, and your phone number, and I will sign you up for free and provide training to you one-on-one -on -one if you need to. Also, we can, um, if there's, there's additional features that will cost you a dollar, one dollar a month um, to get all that templates and, and to use to, um, you know, leverage social media, okay? All right, so I would like to, um, can I share my screen, Enrique? Okay. Let's 
is loading. Let's see. Maybe I need to do this, bring it over. We can see your screen now. Yeah, we can see it. What are you seeing? It's like a Chicago title background. It's a little. Okay. I'm open the Chicago um, Agent One. All right. Can you see that? Can you see Chicago Agent One? No. no. I still see, maybe when you choose a uh, share screen, you have to pick which window you want to share. I did, but oh. I thought uh, Blanca said she gave me a thumbs up. No, all we see is the- uh, Sorry, like Chicago gray. title yeah, background. Just, just the Chicago title background. Huh. All right, let me stop sharing and try it again. Yeah. What about now? Yep. Okay, perfect. All right, so um, this is what the app looks like. And this is, I'm using the, the desktop version. So if you have the, um, the phone version, it's actually much easier uh, to use. And this one is slightly slower than the phone. So I use literally 99% of the time of using the phone when a client asks me for an estimate. So the number one thing you need to know uh, to do first, always, you see my picture on the left and then Chicago Agent One, right below it, there's a drop down. Make sure that is you select the right county, all right? So if it's Santa Clara, of course, you know, we leave it at that. But if you have a client looking to buy in Alameda County, make sure you change that. So we pull in the right fees and who pays what for which county. Okay, so for now we're gonna use Santa Clara, Lynn, and then can I interrupt you real quick? Uh, sorry, no problem. Maybe, maybe before we go into showing them how to use this, can we maybe just quickly talk about why it's important to use this? How agents are using this? Uh, Absolutely. Why do, why do we need this, and why is this important to our business? And how are top agents using this? Before we Absolutely. Show them? Absolutely. Okay, so say, let me give you some examples. So say if you are by, uh, a, a buyer's agent and um, your client's gonna want to know if they're buying at whatever that price is, the sales prices, the home prices, they want to know how much their payment would be, right? So this, you will be able to do that right away. Say if you're doing an open house for someone, um, or your own listing, you're sitting there and you have buyers walk in to the open house. And so they, you know, look at the house and they say, oh, I really like this house. Um, I'm interested, but I'm just wondering what my payment would be, right? Um, so you said, okay, sure, let's, let's do a scenario right now. And so they tell you they put 10% down, whatever that may be, the sales price, you figure it out, you put it all in. And next thing, within literally 10 seconds, you'll be able to provide the monthly payment, uh, property tax in, in insurance information. And then it also have, and I'll show you when we get into it, uh, a 30-year amortization schedule as well. But the important thing, the most important thing for, um, for an agent that's doing an open house, you're able to capture the lead because you will say, well, you know, I can send this to you right now. May I have your phone number? I can text to you, I can email it to you. And that's how, since they want the information from you, they would provide you with correct information, right? So that's on a buyer side. On a seller side, if you go to a listing appointment, right? Bring, if, whether you have your laptop or your um, iPad with you, you're sitting down with a seller, the seller said, you know, you have that discussion. What if you sold my property at a million? How much would I net? What if uh, you sold it at a, one, a million one? How much would I net? Again, within 10, 15 seconds, you'd be able to provide that right away. So they know exactly 
what kind of, um, how much they would take home, how much they would net. So that's very valuable to you when you go to a listing presentation. I have some agents that been in the business for a while and they told me that, um, I, I don't know why they're not learning it, but they would just, um, you know, when the, when the sellers ask the questions, they would say, well, I will get back to you on Monday. Why would you want to do that when you can provide it right there? It takes you no, no more than 15 seconds, right? It makes you look good and look like you know what you're talking about and you have the knowledge. And also, you don't have to memorize who, pay, who pays what in which county because it will pull in all the fees and, and the split and all that stuff for you, the CD transfer tax, all that. Does that answer your question? You okay? Okay, cool. All right. So um, another thing we, we, you know, we added, uh, continue adding more features to this, uh, this app. So before we didn't have, you, you, you can put an address, but it will just put in an address, it, you know, but it won't pull up the loan balance, it won't pull up the um, interest rate, um, the property tax information. Now you have all that, right? Um, so let me give you an example, since we don't have, on a buyer side, it's not as important, but on a seller side, it's very important when you know the balance of the home, right? Or they own it free and clear. So the net uh, is more accurate. So, um, so let's talk about loan types. As you know, there's many loan types, but I have people that uh, say if they're not sure, you know, what, what fees involved if it's all cash deal, right? So you have all that here. Um, but the majority of the time is conventional, right? So say for home prices, say, let's say a million, uh, down payment is uh, 10%, let's, let's keep it at 10%. The interest rate is showing right now is the average national interest rate. So if your client is pre-approved for 5% or 4%, you can change that certainly. And the term is 30 years. And um, hazard insurance is already set, right? It's, this is you, so you'll have to try to figure out what it is. If the property is a um, condo or townhouse or a home that have HOA, then you can enter it here. So um, for now, we just pretend this is a single family residence without HOA. CD transfer tax, and always, always click on that because different county has different CDs that requires uh, CD transfer tax. So in this case, in San Jose, we have Palo Alto, Mountain View, and San Jose. So say if the property is in San Jose, you click on that, exit out, and then um, it plugs that percentage of CD transfer tax in here. Um, and then closing date, you just click on the calendar and say it's 30 days from today. So we click on the 12, you click compute. If you're uh, showing a different screen, it's not showing up. Oh dear. All this time? Can you see it now? If I put now, it- Now we can. It's, ah. it's frozen. Sorry I can about see that. You, I can see when you change them to a million. I see. Yeah, I can see it now. Yeah. I wasn't able to- Okay, see. cool. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so we have a million, 10% down. The interest rate is national um, average interest rate. We have down here, CD transfer tax. We click on San Jose, exit out. It will, oops, it didn't. Let me see, try that again. Okay, here we go. And then 30-day um, close of escrow. Let's go there and click compute. So here you go. It shows monthly payment. For a million, 10% down, you have principal and interest of 4,969, property tax, insurance, and then it put in PMI. On the right-hand side, this is how much you need to bring to close, and that's 116,000. If you want to see details closing costs, just click on this. It gives you a breakdown, itemized of what includes in the closing costs. 
Of course, you can change it. You can click on edit and make some changes if you want or add uh, other fees. But um, this is customary. And then you exit out, go back to the previous screen. Now up here, you see smart compare. So you can compare whether it's 15 years, 20 years, and you can plug that in there. You can see the difference in payments, right? Um, and then on the right-hand side here, loan details, you have the home price, the down payment, all that, APR right here, and then 30 years of amortization schedule for you, okay? Any questions so far? All right, go back to estimate. Now you're ready to share. So let's click on share or print. So this is what it looks like. This is your home estimate. Um, and then on the right-hand side, you have different looks, different templates that you can use, whatever you prefer. Um, of course, same data. You can actually on here, you could actually like change the color. So say if your company color is teal or you can actually change it that represent your company's uh, color. Now, on the left-hand side here, you can customize it by put in the property address, your client's name, any notes here. Uh, you can even put the picture of the property. So it just, you can customize it, especially when you do a listing presentation, right? It looks really professional. Um, right underneath that, you can translate this in other languages, okay? So all of these in a, just a click and it will translate. So say if I put, uh, Spanish, do I see it? Oh, here. I'm testing some of you guys Spanish here. Can you read? Can you understand it? <laughs> I was told, I was told uh, by a lot of people that uh, the translation is pretty good. What do you think, Blanca? It looks good. Okay, awesome. I got a stamp of approval there. <laughs> All right. Do we uh, have Vietnamese? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, Yi. We do have it. You want me to, to try that? No, it's okay. No, it's okay. I okay. trust you. <laughs> You look kind of young. I'd, I'd be impressed if you can read Vietnamese. <laughs> um, big. Um, so, yes, so you can do all that. Um, now you have the option to email. On your phone, you can text. Uh, 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 uh. You can do all that, um, but not, of course, not on the, the desktop. So click email. All you have to do is just type in the email, and you can CC yourself. Just put a comment and then click send and you're done, okay? Um, so that's the buyer's estimate. Any question on that before I move on to seller's net sheet? Just a comment, Lynn. Um, this is really good. Like if you're working in open house too, imagine if you just already did this ahead of time and you had it printed out and maybe you laminate it or you have it like in one of those plastic little uh, holders to give people an idea of, you know, what the payments are on that house, you know, and you can do yeah, different different scenarios, price. right? Yeah. Absolutely. That's a great idea. 5%, 10%, 20%. 20%. And then people just at a glance, they know exactly what their payment would be and what all the closing costs involve. And it's a conversation starter, guys, right? It gets the conversation going. And then, of course, someone may have specific questions. And that's when you say, hey, let's set up a time to meet, consultation, stuff like that. So it's a great way to brand yourself and market yourself. And it's super easy to create. 
Yeah, you can add your picture, you can upload your company logo as well. All right, so I'm moving on to the seller's net sheet. So let's do a live scenario. Enrique, is there a property address that you can give me? One of your listings, maybe? We have a listing that we're working on right now on Todd Street, 3167 Todd Way, San Jose. All right. So you can see it uh, find the possible matches for you right there. So you click on that. So it shows that they have a loan balance of 990. Close enough? Yeah. Okay. Property tax is 18,000. So this is wonderful when you're sitting down with the seller trying to win the, the listing, right? You have all that information and you can verify it, but that just make you look so good with, with all this uh, in front of them. So say loan type is conventional, Sales price, let's say, Two. what is it? Two million. Yeah. All right. Ah, this is perfect. This is perfect where I can give you an example between, um, I'm sure you all heard about Measure E and apply to San Jose. That's an additional CD transfer tax if you sell a property with 2 million or more. So this app, a few months ago, we don't have this feature that it will calculate measure E for you, but now it does, okay? So let's let's do an example here. Let's go, say if it's sold for 1999, okay? Uh, broker fee, we're just gonna leave it at 6%. And property tax, um, any credits or anything like that, Enrique? No. Okay. And, uh, Assuming that their interest rate on the loan is six and a half, and you can certainly change it. So say they refinance is 4%, okay? So I put four, CD transfer tax is in San Jose. Once you click San Jose, the app knows to calculate measure E, but in this case it's below 2 million. Um, closing date, we're gonna leave it 30 days close. So we click on compute. So at two million at, at one nine 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 nine, um, this is how much the seller would net eight hundred seventy thousand. Okay, you can click on detail closing costs, and it will give you everything that uh, the sell all the closing costs the seller has to pay. Now notice that there's home inspection, termite inspection. This is what we set for default, but but say if for some reason the termite inspection is $300 or whatnot, you can change all that here, okay? Or, or say if the commission is 5% or 6%, say 6%, but the listing agent get say, you know, two and a half and the buyer's agent get three and a half, then this is where you can change it. Click on the wheel and you can change it. Otherwise, if you put the number in, it will split equally between the, the listing agent and the buyer's agent, okay? So can, can you take down this number? I'm gonna change it to 2 million 50 and see how much the seller would net with the measure E, mm -hmm. okay? So you have the number? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna change this to 2 million, let's say, Two million ten. Nope, two million ten. Okay, so I'm just going to click compute. So notice the CD transfer tax is changed to ten point eight right now okay and then they net uh, 871 so for ten thousand dollars more 
on a sales price, they net only a thousand dollars more because you know, imagine if it's two million fifty. Let's see. No, that did, oh, never mind. That doesn't really make that much different. Well, it is because they have to pay more taxes, but their their sales price is what fifty thousand more, but they only net was a seventy thirty nine thousand. It doesn't really well. It's just so you know that when you get to a little bit over two million, you got to do the number for your sellers to see what really benefit them. Does it make sense? Because the example I did for Blanca is actually make a huge difference. They actually net, um, they actually net less for selling a little bit more. So you just have to play with the numbers because measure E is 2 million to 5 million. They have to pay additional 7.5%, uh, 0.75%, three quarter of a percent of the sales price. And that's split between the, the, the seller and the buyer. Okay. Do you have any question on that? On measure E? And by the way, I do have um, a flyer that explain what's measure E and the tier of the percentage when you go from 2 million to five and then from five to seven and then to up to 10 million and whatnot. Okay, so I have all that information for you. So and Marie, what's, what's the normal standard transfer tax before the measure E? 3.3. .3. So it goes from 3.3 .3 all the way to 10.8? Huge jump, right? Not, so, not, no, no, no. Let's go to 10.8, right? It's 3.3 .3 plus 0.75. Plus points, but the way they calculate it, that's oh. why it looks like it's 10, but it's actually 3.3 .3 plus 0.75. Yeah, you are correct, Jason. Hmm. But, yeah, it's a little... but in here, it shows 10.8. So I don't know how the app calculated, but it is a correct number, though. So if you do it manually, you're going to see that the, the number, percent, the percentage doesn't match, but the dollar amount is correct. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. But it is 3.3% uh, plus 0.75 up to 5 million. Where can we find that flyer? I can, sure. I can send it to you guys. I have it. All right, so just like the buyer's estimate, you can share. So you click on share or print. And then of course, this can also be translated in other languages. Okay. You can certainly uh, download it, print, share on you know, social media or save. Make sure you save the estimate if you wanna go back in and make some changes later on. So that is the seller's net sheet. Okay. Now moving on to calculators. Lynn, Besides, uh, I wanted to, sorry, before you move on, I wanted to mention something about the seller net sheet. Uh, when I was heavy on doing a lot of listings, I, in production, I mainly did listings and I would use this calculator on every listing appointment. I would do it right there in front of the seller. Um, I talk about, hey, if we sell your house for this price, for this price, and I'd always focus on the net. Um, this helped me win a lot of listings, guys, because it, it took it took the focus off of like how much commission I'm charging and stuff like that. And it just focuses on how much am I going to walk away with if I sell the property at this price. So getting familiar, if you wanted to get good at listings, you have to know how to use this net sheet calculator. You don't want to wait for a title to prepare one for you or anything like that. Like now it's super easy. You can prepare this in five, 10 seconds. You can send it over to them, right to their email from there but I would literally do this in front of them. And it was, it was very helpful in helping me secure a lot of listings. 
And and it's so easy. I think anybody can do this. Literally, you just punch in the number and that's it and click compute and you have it. Um, all right, so good point. Um, on besides buyer's SMA and seller's net sheet, there are other features too that you can use this um, app for. Monthly affordability. Um, seller, sell to net. Sell to net is pretty cool, right? So say if the seller say, I don't care what's the sales price. I just want to net at this amount. Then you can do that here. Um, so say if their goal, for instance, is to net 600,000, right? And commission is 6%. Um, say if they still owed, uh, say 300,000. So you click on compute. You don't know what the sales price is. It's gonna tell you. So in order to net 600,000 after closing costs and everything, commission, this is the sales price needs to be, okay? So that's sell to, uh, to net. Now, there's other options. This is one of my favorites and I think you guys should know this and, and use this flyer is rent versus buy. If you are working with buyers and they're currently renting and they're talking to you that, you know, the market is um, shifting, is maybe it could be lower next year. Maybe I'm just gonna wait until next year to buy. Do this scenario and show it to them. You don't have to pressure them into buying, but at least give them numbers that they make them think whether they should wait or they should buy. All right, so if someone, say a family of four, is currently renting 4,000 a month, okay? And they're buying a home for a million, first time home buyer, okay? And they're putting 20% down, for instance. You click compute. This chart shows that if you can afford 4,000 a month, and you buy in a million dollar home price, in five years and eight months, you break even, okay? So there's your rent and there's your buying costs. Now, majority of, as you all know, that, that um, people are not moving as quickly. In the old days, it was just, you know, like on an average, every seven years, people move up, right? But now is a lot in the neighborhoods we've seen 10 or 15 years. So they stay put for a long time. So say if your client stay in a home for say 10 years, you move that ball over to 10 year mark, you see the buy cost and the rent cost. There's a difference, right? So how did this app come up with that number? Click on learn more it shows how do we calculate buy costs. So it factor in mortgage payments, maintenance of the home, um, you know, how much you go into principal, appreciation, all that. And that's how it come up. So the total buy cost is actually better. You actually have appreciation, right? You have equity in your home. So if I want to share this, I click share. Look how beautiful this template. It shows owning versus renting. And of course you can create this, say if some of you do door knocking and you run into renters that are currently renting and print these templates with you and make sure the home price is applicable to the neighborhood that you are doing door knocking, right? So then you can hand it to them besides a business, you don't need to, to, to give them a business card, at least make them think, oh my gosh, if I'm currently paying this, maybe I can buy this house. I can buy in this neighborhood. Um, but this is great for social media too. So if you wanted to post it, you just click on social media. On my computer, there's only, you know, we have access to Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. But on your phone, you have Instagram as well. Okay, you can post it just like that, just that easy. Uh, so this is great for as a flyer uh, to do door knocking when you run into a renter, 
and to post on social media and see what kind of tractions you get. Hey, Lynn, I have to make a comment here. Jason already knows what I'm going to say. <laughs> Who already knows what I'm going to say? Anybody? <laughs> make a video on it. Make a video on this, guys. <laughs> this is so <laughs> right? It's great information. I would definitely print these out and hand them out to people. But I would also learn this stuff and learn the learn the data, learn the numbers, and like you can easily break this down in a video. Maybe use it as your background and like explain what it means on a video. So this can assist you in a video as well, guys. It's great information to put out there. Yeah, I, I like this a lot, but I don't I don't understand why people are not using it. Yeah. Don't get it. All right, so that's rent versus buy. Um, some of the features actually designed for loan officers to use, so you can certainly use it like extra payment, right? If you were to make an extra payment, how soon you pay off your loan. You can actually talk to your, um, your clients about this too, if you are a buyer's agent. So I'm just gonna show you really quick. So say the home price is a million, down payment is 10, right? Extra payment, say if, you can put $100 a month, right? Extra payment. And say if the interest rate is five and a quarter, I'm gonna change the close of escrow to next month, compute. So just to put $100 a month, you pay off in one year and five months, sooner, right? You shorten your loan from 30 years to 38, what, seven months, and you save $48,000 in interest, right? So it's great information, um, also is a great flyer. So if I click on share this flyer, how nice is that? But check this one out, because you have different looks. Pay more towards your principal can lead to big savings. Right, so if you're a loan officer, this is great. Or even if you're an agent, post it. It's another um, added value info that you can share with your, um, your targets, your social media people, your SLI, right? All right, so that's another features. I'm trying to see. I comparison is iBuyer is not really applicable in today's market. If you just wanted to look for title and escrow closing fee, especially loan officers, this is the quickest way. So you just click on refi, right? And you enter the refi amount, say 800,000 compute. That's all fees, simple. Nothing else. Very simple. Title, escrow, notary fee, which is not all fee, and then endorsement. That's it. And recording fee. Recording fee, we always estimate it high, but um, a lot of refinance is like 200 bucks. But it's not all fee. It's the Santa Clara County recording fee. Okay? So that's another feature. So I'm going to move on to... Um, so estimate is basically... Basically, um, when you save your estimate and you can pull it back up and this is what estimate for, okay? Um, nothing to it, but I wanted to go over premium. So I hope you all can afford a dollar a month to upgrade. <laughs> if not, I have to talk to Enrique. <laughs> all right, so... Um, it's so many features in here and it's for $10 a year or 99 cents a month. But look, just for September alone, it has added a lot of good information here. Housing shortage explained, inventory is up 30%, uh, September marketing packaging is here, all that. So I'm gonna go over it. So for $1 a month, you get all the swipeable infographics. So I'm gonna, gonna click on see all. Why I say it's swipeable, 
So if you have the upgrade version, you click on it, you send it to someone, but you can actually, there's not just one flyer. There is, so let's go to the housing explain um, shortage. On your phone, you can swipe it and you see additional information on it. Okay. And of course, at the end of each um, marketing piece is branding you, your contact information, your picture, all that. That is the one of the templates. Look how many you can use. And they continue adding more templates to your, um, to your app. Um, truly, I, I mean, I think you guys have heard the inventory has gone up after Labor Day weekend, right? There's more listing on the market now. It's still low compared to last year's number, but it's um, it has gone up. So this is an opportunity to you know talk to your sellers and try to get more listings. All right, so this is the swipeable infographic. Really quick, Lynn, can I just add something? Sure. Really quick, guys. I know a lot of times some of us may struggle for finding content for videos. So again, I think, you know, just utilizing this as a resource to look at content. If you're looking for stuff to post, obviously reference this, these, these flyers, but go ahead and just, this will allow you to do your videos. Guys, this is video topics for days right here. Like this $1 of what is it? $10 a year. Yes. For 10 bucks a year, you have basically curated content that you could just read and turn into a video. Like this solves many people's problems of why they don't do video, All right? And this is just one source, by the way. If you ever run out of topics to talk, call me. We have, besides this, we have title and escrow information. We have Proposition 19. We have uh, what is title, what is escrow. There's so much that you can take that information and make a video out of it. Right? Yeah, that's good stuff, Lynn. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Um, all right, so this is one of the features and then we have what is called standard infographics. So let's click on one of them. So this one is, is just one flyer. The other one, it has additional information to it. So. Inventory is up 30% this year. There is, um, let's see here, this one. A plus reason to work with a real estate expert. Okay, negotiation and so on and so forth. Great flyer to put, that is put together for you. Okay, and of course you can post it on social media to Instagram and Facebook and all that. So that's besides swipeable infographics, then you have standard infographics, you have filters. Filters are a lot of fun. So these are lenses that you can use. So it has like birthday, holidays, um, just clothes. Like look at this one. So say if you go to a signing and you sat down with the, the buyers and you sign and you want to take a picture. All you have to do is just take that picture and insert it in here and then post and you're done. I have loan officers have told me in the past they actually get more business by doing this. They go, they show up to the signing, they sat down, or even you are representing the buyer, representing you know the seller, show up to the signing if you know if you can and take that photo and post it. It's real. Right, or you take a photo in front of the, the house when you hand over the key, you can put it in here as well. Okay, just list it, um, open houses or referrals. You can put uh, you know, your business card right here, open house, just you have a photo that's saved in your gallery on your phone, plug that in here, post, you're done. So there's so much lenses in here for you to play with, holidays, Christmas, Happy birthday, all that, all that is in here, okay? Um, 
And then, ah, this is new. Some of the um, dynamics they added. This is for wrap. But I want to go into videos as well. Okay. So recently they have added videos. So let's say, well, this is the latest one. And it's all branding you. Every video is all branding new. All right, so last but not least, the lead gen calculator. So earlier I mentioned to you the rent versus buy. That was a template, an actual template that you can actually post it and print it and whatnot. But this is an actual calculator, okay? So if you were to post this on social media, your SOI will have access to this calculator and they can play it. And after they use the calculator on their own scenario, they would ask questions. Who would they ask? You, because you posted it. So you capture the lead. Make sense? All right, so any questions? Any questions, guys? Guys, what uh, what stood out for you guys? What's some ideas that you guys got from this of how you can use this stuff? Um, let, I'll add something really quick, guys, is I've been using this for the past like maybe five years or so since Lynn give, gave us this app and it works great with on the mortgage side. And if you guys see when you, if you guys work with me, I send you I send you and the client a snapshot of what their payment is based on you know, what they're comfortable putting as a down payment. And I just give them a snapshot. I don't even give them the breakdown of the details because I want them to come back and ask me the questions of the closing costs, of the interest rate, of the APR. But this is such a great tool so that if you're at a barbecue, if you're at a family event and you guys are having a conversation with a family member or friend and they just have quite simple questions like, hey, what if I had 200,000 as a down payment? You know, and I wanted my payment to be this much you can go ahead and use this, this app to go ahead and calculate that. And again, I know Lynn went over with you guys today, but if you want more details on the finance side of how I use it, feel free to set up a one-on-one -on -one with me and I can, I can go ahead and go over with you guys. And I know Enrique, I've been with Enrique on listing appointments years ago where he uses this immediately to show them the net sheet because we don't, clients want to know information now. They don't want you to go back to the office, wait for the email, wait for you to contact escrow. So again, this, this allows you to give instant information to your clients. And again, you also want to let them know, hey, listen, this is an estimate. Obviously, we got to go deeper into your situation. But this gives you an idea of, of what's going to happen in your scenario. Yeah. There's so many times I have clients that um, representing the buyer and they're in San Francisco or they're in Alameda County and they're like, Lynn, can you tell me who pays what <laughs> in which county or or what is the transfer tax and all that stuff? You don't have to memorize it. The app does it for you. If you select the correct county and uh, select the, the correct city, it will bring in all the correct information for you, the right fees for you. So you don't have to worry about it, right? Also, um, I just want to also add is that besides providing you, you guys tools and training, but um, sit down, I would love just to sit down with you and see what's your goals, what's your plan for the next six months and a year. 
and let's talk about, based on your budget, how I can help you grow your business. There's so much out there. We can talk about farming. If you don't have a budget about direct marketing, well, let's talk about different strategies. There's so many layers of marketing, right? Yeah. Um, I have agents that are doing really well without direct marketing for the first year, just door knocking, door knocking, cold calling. And this is her fourth year and she's doing very, very well. Um, so don't be too concerned about, oh, somebody else is, you know, have the budget and I don't, I work with our budgets. So just, you know, just sit down and we can talk about it. What's the best way to, to get the um, results for you? Okay. I had something to add, Lynn. Um, I just wanted to stress to the agents that, and to the whole team, all of this stuff is great information, but it's only going to be great if you actually take some action and go out and implement it. Otherwise, this is just going to be another training that you showed up to and you heard some good ideas and nothing happens. So if you really want to make you know strides in your business and grow, you have to take some action. You got to sign up for this app, get in touch with Lynn. I'll put her contact info in Slack. Um, get in touch with her so she can sign you up for an account, pay the extra $1 a month for, which is nothing, you know, for the upgraded version and actually play around with the app, go on there and, and do some calculations, use the calculator. You don't want to fumble around and try to figure it out in front of your client. You want to have this already practiced, already rehearsed this way. When you meet with the client, boom, it's already being done uh, very easily and also take action on those video topics. There's so many topics in here that I'm already, I'm already writing stuff down that I'm gonna make videos. Uh, so if you guys aren't gonna make videos, I'm gonna make videos, but like this, this is it guys. There's a lot of tools here that you can take advantage of. Yeah, I, I think the first action guys, before we, you know, we're, we have 16 people on, the, on this call right now. I think the first action is once we get off this, download the app immediately. And, and then Lynn will also contact you as well. So download that app. You'll get a, it gets on your phone and then you also get a picture of Lynn on there as well. All right. Yes, Lynn, what's the app? What's the app called? Chicago Agent One. Chicago. Agent I'm, I'm putting this in Slack right now. Um, download. Chicago. And it doesn't matter where you are because some of the agents say if you live in San Francisco or you live in Oakland, and a lot of time they set it for Alameda County, you won't see me on the list of agents. So make sure you select Santa Clara and then select me as an agent, as a rep, and then you can change the, the county afterwards because it's nationwide usage, okay? But in order to see me as a rep, you have to select Santa Clara. Okay. Lynn, sorry, I missed the first couple minutes. But are you um, the escrow officer as well? No, I'm a sales rep. Okay. And we have a team of escrow officers here, but your escrow officer in your office is um, Fung, P-H-U-O-N-G. Yeah. Hi, Lynn. I have a question. Sure. Um, I set it up all over the weekend and I didn't select you and uh, I don't have a, a rep. How do I select you as a rep now? Okay, so <laughs> so now you need to send me an email. Okay. okay. Send me an email. It's lynn.dang at ctt.com and just say, I would like to switch or sign up with Lynn Dang as my rep. That's all. And I will send it to customer service. Thank you so much. Lynn, Thank you. Just for, just for clarification, so they download the app, they select you as the rep. After that, do they need to contact you for anything or they could just start okay. using it? No, but what I'm trying to say is in order to see me as on the list, the drop down list of rep, they have to select Santa Clara County. Got it. Okay, then they will see me. If they don't, they won't see me at all. Uh, but for some reason, if you sign up just like you and you didn't select, uh, me as a rep, just send me an email and I will send it to customer service and they will correct that. Got it. I'm putting all of this in Slack, guys. So I'm sending out the message right now in Slack. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, this is one of the apps. There's another app. It's called Chicago um, Title Now. 
And um, that I need to sign up with, with all of whoever wanted to be um, signed up for and have access to property profiles. I need your contact information and then I can sign you up. So let's do this first. Sign up for Chicago Agent One first. Once you pick me as a rep, I will get notification. Then I have your contact information. I will reach out to you and we can have a conversation and I can also sign you up to have access to property profiles. And if just in case you don't know what a property profile is, it's basically an ID of a property. So it gives you who is the rightful owner, uh, characteristics of the property, um, any uh, recording docs that belongs to that um, property and um, comms and so on. So it's great information if you about to take a listing appointment um, is recommended to pull a property profile and take a look that the person you're meeting is actually one of the owners <laughs> that's showing on the property profile. Um, all that is there for you and it's free. So once you have that signed up by me, then you can download the app. It's called Title Now, and you can pretty much access anywhere using your phone for property profile. And there's a lot more. We have Title Toolbox that will help you look into uh, turnaround, um, not turnaround, turnover rate uh, in each different neighborhood and community. Uh, we can do farming all that, I can help you find the light, uh, next likely sellers in whatever farm that you want to, um, to farm in. Um, so there's a lot of information out there for you guys. Awesome. Thank you, Lynn, so much. I think we're up on time. Uh, guys, let's give it up for Lynn for all the good information. Thank you so much. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate you guys. I just sent out all the info in Slack, guys, the instructions, and I sent out Lynn's contact info. Lynn is, has been working with us for years, and she's super helpful, always available to answer uh, calls, texts, questions, anything like that. So if you need something, make sure you reach out to her. And don't feel bad reaching out to me in the evening or on weekend. I'm here for you. She's at, Lynn's <laughs> everywhere. She's, all, she's, all, she's everywhere, all, all right, always out there in the mix. But I've always pick up your call and, and your your uh, text, so no worries. Yeah. Thank you, Lynn. Thank All you. Bye, right, guys. Thank, Thank you, so guys. Appreciate okay. you. Bye.